When it comes to adding menu items, you've got options. You can add individual items or import your entire menu at once using Clover's spreadsheet template. To download the template on the web dashboard, go to Inventory, then Items. Download the template from either your items page or from the More Items menu. Once you've entered your information into the template, import your menu spreadsheet. Now, We'll cover the main components for building and managing your menu. When you turn on Clover's online ordering feature, your online menu will be created automatically. If you already manage an online ordering menu with Clover, we'll cover managing your online menu within the inventory tool. Let's build your menu by individual item. We'll use the web dashboard, but this can also be done in the inventory app on your Clover device. In inventory, select items and add items. Add the item name and price. Then continue. From the drop down menus, you can set an item color to quickly identify it. We'll also cover how to create category colors later. Set your pricing type here and check that your taxes and fees are accurate. Next, if the item should be on your online menu, set the name for your online customers and check the Show Online box. Then add a description. Now decide on online menu images. Choose an image that shows off your food. Images should be JPEG or PNG and under 10 meg. Select the image icon to upload the image and crop as needed. Then continue and save. If your guests will be given the option to modify their orders, create modifier groups to communicate those preferences to the kitchen. Select Add under Modifier Groups and enter the group name for display on your Clover device. Then add the more customer-friendly online ordering name if it applies. Later, we'll cover how to add specific modifiers like tomato and pickles and adjust for other settings within the modifier group. Categories help you more easily find items. They're also useful for grouping items in reports. Under Categories, add the category name and click Done. Next, choose the printer label under Orders and Printing. If you haven't set up printer labels, we'll create them later. Changing your items view or making menu changes is fast and easy. Select the three bars to add or remove fields for display. To make quick changes to the fields shown, check the items and select Quick Edit. Then save. To make a bulk edit, check the items or use the box for all items. Then click the Bulk Edit Options drop down to make changes. You can customize category colors and more by going to Inventory and Categories. To add and customize modifiers, choose Modifier Groups from the left-hand nav and the group to edit. Check the box here to list this modifier group on your Clover device for servers to see when entering orders. Next, to add individual modifiers, select Modifiers and click Add. Enter your modifiers and the price. Use zero if there's no extra cost. When finished adding individual modifiers, click Done. To customize further, select modifiers to add alternate and online ordering names. Use the checkbox to show the modifier online. Now, select the required and maxed number of choices that a customer can pick. You can set this for both your Clover devices and your online order menu. Next, we'll create printer labels, which route customer orders to different printers. In Inventory, click Printer Labels and Add Label. Then give your label a name and select Done. Select the printer label and add the menu items you'd like to include. Next, associate a printer with your printer label on your Clover device. 
Revenue classes help you keep track of how your business is doing and pull reports that simplify tax reporting. To create revenue classes, select Revenue Classes and Add Revenue Class. Assign items and save. Last, under Setup, you can change inventory views, switching between the old and new inventory designs. To learn more, go to clover.com help.